ready for race two here at Sepang. And we are underway. Devlin De Francesco makes a good start, but an even better start for Joey Alders. And Joey Alders going up into the lead. Joey Alders on the right-hand side there, taking the lead from Devlin De Francesco, but the Canadian driver still has the inside line as they go hard breaking down to turn one. And Francesco takes that lead, but runs wide. Joey Alders looks like he's going through on the inside. Joey Alders into first position. Devlin Joey Alders comes along and crosses the line to win race two here at Sepang. He absolutely mastered the treacherous conditions, didn't put a foot wrong, took the lead at the first corner from Devlin De Francesco, and he is absolutely delighted. Look at that. And I'm sure he will uh, look forward to receiving the congratulations and applause from his team, his engineers and his mechanics. There's just one driver in the car, but Motorsport very much a team performance. And there's a huge amount of teamwork going on behind the scenes, preparing those cars and making sure everything is in good shape for the race. Joey Alders, a perfect record so far in the 2020 F3 Asian Championship. Two wins out of two. And there, his team and his mechanics and his engineers congratulating him. Absolutely delighted with their man's morning's work. to get underway the red lights are on and they're off and we are racing here in Dubai and uh, very gingerly a lot of the cars making their way off the grid a couple of them have stalled it looks like Thomas Ludi at the back has stalled but Jake Hughes has made a very good start from his pole position and he leads going down the straight and uh, Fernandez going on the uh, on the right hand side there they're five abreast and it looks like Fernandez has made it through into third position and Jake Hughes goes wide a lot of them going wide there clearly not a lot of grip at all Jake Hughes loses that lead and uh, Joey Alders I think has taken the lead so Joey Alders and there is your race leader Joey Alders so he was saying on the grid he wanted to make up a couple of places as soon as possible and he's done just that so Joey Alders the Dutch driver in the lead <laughs> there is uh, Joey Alders that's the battle for fifth sixth seventh all of those absolutely together. There is Pietro Fittipaldi. A lot of these cars look uh, fairly similar in uh, sort of dark colouring, but Pietro Fittipaldi in that striking red livery, very easy to spot. And uh, it looks as if he's coming under pressure here from Joey Alders because the Dutch driver getting quite close behind Fittipaldi, who goes defensive as they come up to the first corner, goes to the inside. And Joey Alders goes all the way around the outside. Now, can he make that move stick? It, mu it might be that he's gone a little bit too wide, but the next corner is a left-hander, and he's got the inside line for that. So Joey Alders back up into fifth position, overtaking Pietro Fittipaldi, who goes back down to sixth place. This Fernandez up into fifth place, and Joey Alders up into uh, down to sixth, but he's just gone down the inside of Fernandez again. The two of them absolutely side by side now. Fernandez will have the inside line for the following corner, even though they go side by side. Tremendous racing here. No quarter given from either driver. Looks like they bang wheels. Fernandez, and they're still going side by side. Fernandez takes the inside line for turn 14. Joey Alders going around the outside. Can he make that move stick? He just will not give up there, Joey Alders. Now he has the inside line, but Fernandez going around the outside again. The two of them side by side for several corners in a row. Great stuff from these two drivers. Great racing, firm but fair. And, uh, there goes Joey Alders up the inside of Canemaro again. A carbon copy of the previous lap, in which case it was uh, Fernandez going up the inside. They go side by side again. Tremendous stuff from these two. Really having a good battle, Fernandez and Joey Alders. And they're going side by side through the flat out kink at turn 13. What's going to happen when they get to turn 14? They lock up, as does uh, De Francesco behind them, just trying to avoid any sort of collision there. Fernandez still has the inside. Now they flick back to the right hander. Alders has the inside line, overtakes Fernandez, takes that position back. And uh, Joey Alders now up into fifth position. <laughs>
went very well. We just had really consistency uh, out of now the 14 races, uh, missed three podiums, uh, so 11 podiums. So we just had a, cons a consistent season, and I think that's just uh, the key uh, for a good championship. So big thanks to the team, uh, to the engineers, Josh Evans, uh, Mihai Marinescu, uh, and, uh, and my, and my uh, mechanics, uh, Lee Torrey. So just amazing job on uh, giving me a good car for this whole season. Uh, really happy with that.